Hello YouTube, looks like I'm going to need a tetanus shot. Much to do has been made about live life, whatever, a bunch of numbers, and amendums videos on mental disorder. And I would like to say it's much to do about nothing. Because I remember when I took psychology, uh, introduction to psychology course, that was college credit, although my college didn't count it, um, at high school. I remember reading the uh, section on schizophrenia, and it was only a handful of pages. But at no point, from my understanding of that, would I say that a religious person, by fact that he is religion, is schizophrenic. And I might actually very well read that section. I don't know, I haven't made up my mind, because I'm making this up as I go. Because, to me, this is nonsense. But I remember when I was still a Christian, that I would have conversations with God. And I knew very well there was voices in my head. I didn't, I didn't believe that this voice was actually out loud or anything. To me, it was a voice in the back of my head telling me this action is wrong or it'll be okay. And I don't view that as schizophrenia. It was something because at the time, I believed, honestly, that there was this entity that could talk to me. Now I don't, and that only voice there is my conscience. But anyway, what is schizophrenia? Schizophrenia, usually considered the most serious of the psychological disorders, is a characteristic by loss of contact with reality. Schizophrenia can be very disabling and can lead to the effect of person's inability to function independently. Typically, schizophrenia first appears in young adulthood, but it may occur at other ages. Although it usually develops gradually, it can also appear suddenly. Schizophrenia can now be treated more effectively, although if untreated, it can worsen over time. The most striking symptoms of schizophrenia include hallucinations, delusions, thought and thought disorders. In most cases, the hallucinations are auditory, voices telling the in individual what to do or commenting on the individual's behavior. Sometimes they may tell the individual to harm himself or, or herself or others. Robert Bailing, a schizophrenic sufferer, described his hallucinations this way. The visions are extremely vivid. Paving stones transform into de demonic faces. Buildings and rooms spin and weave and their walls close in as I look on, paralyzed by fear. The voices all either ramble in alien tongues or scream orders to carry out violent acts. They also persecute me by way of unweaving uh, commentary and ridicule to deceive, derange, and force me into a world of crippling paranoia. Individuals with schizophrenia may experience what are called delusions of grandeur. For example, they may believe that they are historical figures, famous celebrities, or in a special but secret mission to save the world. Sometimes the delusions are pers uh, of persecution. For example, a person with schizophrenia might believe that they are pursued by spies or other shady, shadowy enemy. Other delusions may include beliefs that, uh, ha, um, that one has committed unpardonable sins, or even that one does not really exist. To me, this doesn't sound anything like religion, or anything like what was going on with myself. And when I look at the other mental disorders that I learned about, I don't see any connections. Although I see maybe slight hints of things that are similar, but the thing is, with these mental disorders, is you cannot say, oh, well, that person's behaving in such a way, therefore he has that disorder. It's never that simple. It requires someone who is actually qualified, someone who actually understands psychology, more than just taking an introductory course, to sit down and actually talk to someone and, and explain to them, and have them explain to them what they're feeling, and then go from there and through therapy and, and brain scans be able to sit there and say this person is a psychopath or this person suffers from this form of schizophrenia this form of psychopathy what have you 
It's not for a layperson to decide. And it's not for someone who might, like, you know, amend him quoted Richard Dawkins, who I don't even know if he holds that position, but to sit there and quote someone who's outside of the field as an authority figure. It, it just doesn't make sense how people who don't know what they're talking about in a field that's very difficult to understand, a, a field which you have to deal with the individual, to apply this these labels to them. And so, that's why I say it's much ado about nothing. It's people who don't know what they're talking about not showing that they don't know what they're talking about. So, if you're really interested in psychology, pick up a book. If you really think that someone is mentally ill, try and get them to go to a therapist. But blanketing an entire community that spans roughly 90% of the world's population with schizophrenia or psychopathy is nonsense. And it's very frustrating for people who actually are out there to help those who really are and truly are mentally ill. Have a nice day, YouTube.